Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Brazing is a type of fusion welding process which is similar to gas welding yet different. Usually in most welding procedures, the base metal is also melted along with the filler metal. This does not occur in brazing. Here, only the filler material is melted. In brazing, the filler metal, which is also known as the brazing metal, has a melting temperature above 450 degrees centigrade, but it is below the melting point of the base metal. There are many types of brazing that are generally available. Each of these types has a specific application. The first type of brazing we will be talking about today is the torch brazing. In torch brazing, a flux is applied to the surfaces to be brazed. A torch is used to direct a flame against the workpiece and towards the joint. An oxygen-starved flame is typically used to prevent oxidation on the workpiece. Once the joint areas have reached suitable temperature, the filler wire is added. Due to the high temperature, the filler wire melts and creates a joint. The torch which is used in brazing is similar to the ones used in gas welding. The fuels used in the torch vary based on the type of workpiece and filler used. Acetylene is used if the filler or workpiece has very high temperature tolerance as acetylene burns at almost 3000 degrees centigrade. The torch brazing is mostly performed manually. The skill of the workers is crucial as they must be employed to control the flame, manipulate the handheld torch and also properly judge the temperature of the flame. This is done to ensure that a proper joint is obtained. Next is furnace brazing. In this type of brazing, a furnace is used to supply heat for brazing and is used to mass produce parts. It is suited for medium to high production rates of components. In furnace brazing, the parts and the brazing metal are loaded into the furnace. They are then heated to brazing temperature. This melts the brazing metal which fuses the joints. The workpiece is then cooled and removed. The next type of brazing is dip brazing. In dip brazing, a molten salt bath or a molten metal bath is used as a heat source. The workpiece and the brazing metal are immersed in the molten bath. The molten salt bath generally has a molten mixture of fluxing ingredients, whereas in the metal bath method, the filler material which is used to join the workpiece is the heating medium. The molten metal is drawn into the joint by capillary action during submersion. Dip brazing method is generally used in places where the workpiece has a lot of joints. So, by dipping it in salt or metal baths, it is much easier to fuse the joints faster. The next type of brazing is called braze welding. Braze welding is somewhat similar to gas welding where a filler wire is used to join two or more pieces of material. In gas welding, both the base metal and the filler are melted and then fused together on solidifying. Whereas in braze welding, the joint consists only of filler metal. This is because the base metal does not melt and therefore is not fused to the joint as in conventional fusion welding processes. Braze welding is most commonly used in repair work of pipes, beams, etc. Brazing has several advantages when compared to welding. Any metal can be joined with the help of brazing, including dissimilar metals, whereas this is not possible in most welding types. A few brazing methods like furnace brazing and dip brazing can be performed quickly and consistently. This permits very high production rates and allows the process to be automated. Some methods also allow for multiple joints to be brazed at the same time. Brazing can be applied to join thin parts which cannot be welded. This is normally done by infrared brazing where an infrared lamp is used to generate heat. Brazing in general also requires lesser heat and power than most fusion welding processes. But the downside to these advantages is that the strength of the brazed joints is lesser than the welded joints. Brazing cannot be used to join components which are required to operate at locations with high temperature. This is due to the low melting temperature of brazing metals. Another intriguing disadvantage of brazing is that the color of the brazing metal and the base metal might not match sometimes. 
this might not be aesthetically pleasing at some places. Well, that's it guys, hope you understood what brazing is. We'll meet again in the next one. Till then, bye.